This film you are about to see is based on a story told 181 years ago by the master of drama and suspense, Edgar Allan Poe. This story was told through the eyes of a madman who, like all of us, believed he was sane. I'm nervous, very, very dreadfully nervous. But why will you say that I'm mad? See how calmly, how precisely I can tell the story to you. Listen. It starts with the old man. An old man in an old house. A good man, I suppose. He had never harmed me. I didn't want his gold, if gold there was. Then what was it? I think, I think it was his eye. Yes, that eye, the eye, that. His eye staring, milky white film. The eye, everywhere, everywhere in everything. Of course I had to get rid of the eye. So I waited, watched, waited. I was never so kind to the old man. I looked after him each minute, each second, and I waited. But night after night, in the hour of the slowest clock, I opened the old man's door. The eye was always closed. For seven days I waited. You think me mad? What madman would wait, could wait so patiently, so long? In the old house. With the old man and the eye that... Then on the eighth night, I knew. Tonight. Still, I waited. While time slowed. Stopped. Ebbed out. A watch's hand moved more quickly than mine. Then... What? No! For an hour, I did not move a muscle. I could feel the earth turn. The eye. Hear the spider spinning. In the house, the grinding crumble of decay. Then, something else. Dull and muffled, yet... Of course. It was the beating of the old man's heart. He knew. strong for such an old man. Louder, then. And still louder. For all the world to hear, I know. I had to stop it. was over. The heart was still. The eye was dead. I was free.
But there was still work to be done. I replaced the planks so cleverly, no eye, not even his, could have found anything wrong. Huh? So soon. The neighbors reported a scream. We're obliged to investigate. A scream? My own gentleman. A childish dream. But come in, please. You'll want to look through the house. That is our duty. Where is the old man? Gone to the city. You're up very early this morning. The dream I spoke of, it awakened me. When did he leave? The old man? Yesterday. How long will he be away? Two weeks. Perhaps longer. Nothing out of place here. There is his bed. Here his cupboard. All in order. Quite in order. All quite in order. Yes, nothing amiss. You understand that when a complaint is made, we have no choice to... Stay, please. Such a wretched hour. I was making tea. A hot drink will break the chill. Surely it would surprise good people how much evil the night conceals from their eyes. But not yours, to be sure. What, what, what did you say, sir? Yes, yes, of course, the, the hot water. It will do no harm to the bare boards. I'm a little less tidy with the old man away. Then I heard it. It might have been a hand, a clock. But no, louder, and still louder. They must hear it, yet they sit and talk and talk. They must, of course they do, they know, they do. They're torturing me, watching me, letting it beat so that I, that I... Stop it! Stop it, you devils! Yes, yes, I did it! It's there, under the floor! Oh, stop it! It is the beating of his hideous heart! True, I'm nervous. Very, very dreadfully nervous. But why will you say that I'm mad? 